this morning my cows were out. Lucky me, right? It's kind of my fault. Uh, there's only a few reasons cows get out. They're hungry, they're thirsty, or they're overcrowded. They have food. They're definitely not overcrowded. So come to find out their water bucket was empty. And where this fence line is, it's right next to the creek. And of course they can hear the, the water running. So they busted through the fence and now it's time to get it fixed. So this little fence line here, I did not have time to uh, get up to par for winter. Um, from this post on down, we had to redo the fence, kind of got it in a spot where it would probably work for the winter, but I did not get that fence done yet. Now this hot wire is not on, it's kind of there just more for a deterrence than anything else. But cows are getting out and I need to get this fence in better shape. I have no idea why the previous owners put that fence line way out there. I don't know why they just didn't follow the creek. But all that's coming out next spring. I just need to get this fence line right in here fixed up so the cows don't get out this winter and then I'm going to redo the whole fence line all the way down next spring. Tear all this fence out and put up new fencing because it needs it. Annabelle, how are you? Checking out my trailer. Huh? Oh, girl. So, Annabelle, she is my old cow. She is, I believe she's 14 this year. Just the sweetest old cow. Previous owners used to have their kids ride on her back because she's so tame. Yeah, you like your ear scratched. Yeah, good girl. All right, got all the old barbed wire off these fence posts. Now we need to start taking them out because they're not too even.
come on. All right, well, I got this one section done here. Obviously, not the way you stretch barbed wire. But what I'm going to do is start back at that end and then attach to this pole and it'll bend back straight and then all this wire will tighten up. Normally I use my four-wheeler winch to stretch barbed wire, but this is only temporary. So, And I hate that word temporary because that means you're going to have to go do it again, which next spring I got to tear all this out. So. Sometimes you can tighten up your barbed wire by just twisting this. Got the fence up, just need to put the clips on. I got it pretty tight. Not as tight as using the four-wheeler winch, but uh, hopefully the cows will be in for the winter. <laughs> oh, wow, those came out easy. <laughs> Normally they're a bear to get out of there. Keep post clips, your worst enemy sometimes. You'd think they'd design a package where they're easier to get out. Not all tangled up with each other. Well, there's the fence line all done. Actually got it fairly tight for not having a stretcher. Blue. What do you think, boy? So hopefully that will uh, keep the cows in this winter on this little section here. Again, I'm redoing this whole fence line all the way down. I have no idea why the previous owners put that jog in the fence like that, but looks like there used to be a fence line on there, but then they moved the fence line way out there. Another thing I'm going to do is make a gate over here when I put the new fence in, and then I'm going to fence, I'm going to clear out all these, this brush in here and make an enclosed little fence area down there on the creek. That way I won't have to feed or water my cows all summer. So that'll be sweet. I'll just put a gate right there. And I'll, I'll leave it closed until the spring runoff is all done because this riverbank actually almost overflows. Well, it did overflow last year. So... So after the spring runoff, we'll put a gate in there and fence off an area down there so the cows can have water and food out here. Along with this new fence. That'll be pretty sweet. It's all about making your life easier when you're working with cows and on a farm. And that's what I intend to do. Mm -hmm.